Satellite images show the Nile Delta in Egypt, the Sinai Peninsula and the Gaza Strip. The Sinai Desert links Egypt and Palestine, where we begin to trace the flight into Egypt by Joseph, Mary and Jesus to escape the wrath of King Herod in his attempts to kill the prophesied Messiah. No account of this journey is given in the Gospels, however the Coptic Christian Church in Egypt commemorates it in detail through the numerous sites of churches and monasteries. According to tradition, the family journeyed from Bethlehem through Gaza, crossing the Judean desert and passing the Dead Sea. Stopping at El Arish, they crossed the northern Sinai desert to Pharma, their last stop before leaving the wilderness behind them. Some 10 kilometers from Cairo, they reached Mosterov, also known as Mahama, the bathing place, in memory of where Mary traditionally bathed the child Jesus and washed his clothes. The crypt of the Virgin Mary Church is built over the cave which sheltered them there. Crossing the Rosetta branch of the Nile at the western delta, they came to the Natrun Valley. The spring of Al Humra arose at their visit. Numerous churches and monastic settlements have been built over the past 2,000 years in this valley to commemorate the sacred sites. Crossing the Nile again to its eastern bank, they reached Mataraya and Ancham, ancient Heliopolis. The cathedral marks the appearances of Mary in recent years, and a tree known as Mary's Tree can be seen in Zaytun. In Old Cairo, St Sergius is built over a cave where the family hid for protection. The major church called Al Mulaka was formerly the patriarchal see of the Coptic Church. The Holy Chrism, used to anoint the patriarchs of the Coptic See, is derived from the balsam plant, which tradition says grew at the place where Mary poured the water in which she had washed the infant's clothes. The Church of St. Barbara in Cairo, famous for its ancient icons, is visited each year by people from all over the world. An ancient icon at Mardi shows Jesus as a small child on the shoulders of Joseph. Mardi means crossing point and the historic Virgin's Church of the Ferry with its stone steps leading down to the banks of the Nile marks the place from which their sailboat crossed. Their sailboat docked near Magaga, where they disembarked, travelling on to the place called Abba Isu, which means the home of Jesus, and is currently known as Sandafa village. Journeying south, they crossed the Nile again at Samalun. The Monastery of the Virgin and the Church of St Mary are built over the cave in which they sheltered at Gabal Altaia. The entrance to the cave is still seen along with the trough which according to tradition Mary used during their stay there. The cave is now the crypt of the church.
Crossing the Nile twice more, they travelled south, resting at Cum Maria, the hill of Mary. They continued for many more miles, finally reaching Mount Kuzham, 327 kilometres south of Cairo. The monastery of al Marak nestles in the western foothills, marking the place where the family lived for more than six months. The cave shelter became the altar of the Church of the Virgin Mary, built at the western end of the monastery compound. It was here that Joseph received the message from the angel in a dream, telling him it was now safe to return to their homeland of Palestine. They began their return journey via the city of Asyu, now commemorated by the mountain top convent of the Virgin Mary, which is built over the original site of the cave in the Western Mountain. Coptic icons uniquely depict Jesus not only as an infant carried by his mother, but as a young child walking with his parents to begin the long journey home. Retracing their steps, they returned through Cairo and on to Sinai and Palestine, a journey of some 2,000 kilometres. Enduring the scorching heat of the day and the biting cold of desert nights, they eventually arrived in their home village of Nazareth. The journey had taken over three years. Yeah.